Good morning everybody. It's an exciting week ahead actually because I have another big launch coming up with the jewellery brand that I collaborate with, Edge of Ember. If you've been here before then you'll know all about it but I can show you that in a little bit. But anyway, starting off my day, as I've mentioned in previous videos, me and Alex are kind of really feeling this like health kick at the moment. So I have made myself um, kind of like an acai bowl but it's technically not. It's actually black cherry and blueberry kind of smoothie. Usually I make it a little bit thicker so I can put things on top a bit easier, but either way, to be honest, as long as it tastes good, which it does, I don't really care if it looks presentably beautiful. This is literally just one banana, a handful of frozen cherries, a handful of frozen blueberries, a little bit of banana protein powder from Purition, this one from Purition, a handful of cashews and some water and then it just makes a really delicious smoothie and it's just nice and healthy and yum for the morning. And now I'm gonna to top it with loads of toppings. I've got granola, it's mainly kind of oats and maybe a touch of honey, it's not covered in sugar. Flaked almonds, flaked toasted coconut, goji berries, one of my favorite, favorite snacks. I'm like the most expensive bloody snack ever. Cranberries. For all these things, by the way, I just constantly go on Holland and Barrett, if you're in the UK. Holland and Barrett do all this stuff and I just get it like on repeat, just so I've got a full like stock of nuts and seeds. Yeah, and I mean, you can then put like peanut butter on it or cashew butter, whatever, but to be honest, it's kind of sweet enough as it is, so I don't really need that. So um, yeah, that's breakfast. But first, I'm gonna have a shot of this. Josie put me onto this when we were at Dale's, which is like, I've been having this, it's really, really good. Naked Biotics, 100% vegan, raw and natural daily bacteria shot. Caramel, rose hip, olive leaf, and more. So you take like a little shot of this. You've got this really cute little shot glass. I got these in a parcel from Vive, the beauty brand, Vive. So this really gorgeous little parcel with these in them a little ceramic shot glasses from Anna Nina. Anyway, so this, you don't shake it and you just get a shot of it. And then you just, you just gotta neck it, to be honest. Like, without trying to put you off that, it's so easily drinkable, it's fine. But I always need something right after it to like take the taste away. It's almost, if someone watered down, if, if someone put like apple cider vinegar this is, going to t this is going to sound awful, but with like a TCP kind of taste. The aftertaste is like TCP, that really strong line. Anyway, but it's meant to be amazing for your gut. I've been talking about this loads. Sorry to bore you. Like me and Josie, I met up with Josie. You'll, you'll see that actually. I'm kind of going back to front here on the vlog. You'll see a little bit of when we were at Dalesford. We met up at Dalesford and literally we just talked about health and um, this podcast, the Stephen Bartlett podcast with Tim Spector and how much it kind of opened our eyes to stuff to do with the gut and gut health. And so me and Alex are really, really like on it at the moment. We're just wanting to just eat really healthy, wonderful foods just to feel nourished. And so we're filling ourselves with good bacteria. <laughs> I mean, watch it come out in like a couple of years that this is a load of rubbish, but actually, I already feel better. Like, my stomach already feels better. Um, I feel less bloated the past few days, or well, the past few weeks, um, but equally, I have been eating a lot, like, food that's much better for me anyway. So, order of the day today, I'll eat my little acai vibe bowl. You can't really see it, but anyway, delish. It's just like making yourself a smoothie and then throwing even more like seeds and nuts and fruit onto it. So it's delicious. Today, I'm on my way into London. Um, I, have, I have a dentist appointment, then I have a meeting. But before that, because I realised I had some extra time, I'm going to go and do a reformist Pilates class at Cycle, at the Cycle Studio in London. It's on, just on Mortimer Street. Oh, look bold. I think it's Mortimer Street. Oh, is it Great Portland Street? No, Mortimer Street. Yeah, I'm going to go do a reforms class. So, very much looking forward to that. Me and Alex are on the workout bandwagon, big time right now. We've been working out every day, I've been doing a peloton, I've been doing weights. On Saturday I did like a two hour leg weight session. I'm just feeling great. Yeah, so I've got a lovely day ahead. So I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup with you before we head out. Okay, what to do with this? I don't know, maybe I'll just 
leave it now. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, I'm gonna, I don't know what to do with this. Um, okay, let's do some skincare. I'm gonna use this Augustinus Bada eye cream. First of all, the team very kindly sent me an enormous box. It's called the Essentials Box from Augustinus Bader. Bader, Bader. For Christmas, I was absolutely blown away. Could not believe it. It's such a wonderful gift. So I've been trying out a few more Augustinus products to try. And this is really lovely and hydrating. It's the kind of thickness of cream that I really like under my eyes, where it's just quite lightweight, sinks in nicely. So I'll let you know how that goes. Clay de Poe serum. As always, this always goes down as like first layer. It's just so lightweight, sinks in so beautifully and easily. And then, that sounds like a visitor. Is that who you think it is? It's you! Hi darling! Wee! <laughs> you can have a seat there. And then just some moisturiser. Yeah, do I need more serum? I don't think I need any more serum. Hello. Oh, hi. Um, I was I was contemplating putting on some face oil, but actually I just don't think I really need it right now. I feel very, like, my skin just feels really nicely hydrated right now. So I'm just going to use um, Clé de Peau Le Creme, and I think that'll be enough, because this is super hydrating anyway. It kind of gives a little bit of a... A, well, it's a very hydrated, not oily as such, but it gives you that kind of level of hydration, I think, when you rub this in. It's just packed with ingredients, so a certain content of that will be this very glowy kind of oil base, so I don't need oil as well. On the skin, it's almost like butter. There's no texture like it. It's the dream. Mm. I don't know what you think is up there. I think he thinks his ball is on my, sh my shoe shelf. It's not there, darling. I promise you. Okay, there is that. All right, don't lick my face. Are you happy with that? Are you happy? Nothing there, darling. Do you want to come sit on your bed instead? Good boy. You sit there. Yesterday, I tried this for the first time as well. A super BB cream from Iborian. Wow. Absolutely blew me away. Um, and this has SPF 20 in it. What I'm going to do is apply it like this Vive 125 brush. Like the coverage on this is unreal. I did not expect it, but I tried it live on camera for TikTok. So you might see it on TikTok already. Oh, in fact, by the time you see this now, you won't have done. There's a TikTok coming where I try this for the very first time, for like first impressions. And I'm genuinely like, whoa, did not expect it. Put a bit too much on. Like the coverage, this is high coverage. Which isn't something I, I often expect from Iborian, so... I mean, honestly, look at that coverage. I think it's amazing. <laughs> it's so good. I, I'm so glowy, and especially over a glowy skincare base. That is unreal. Anyway, let me finish off the rest of my face and I can talk to you then. Just quickly do this to my hair, just to spruce it up a bit. Better. It just kind of fluffs it up a little bit and just makes it look a little less like bitty. So let me take this off a second so I can properly show you my neckline. I am very excited to be launching my fourth, can I look, can't believe that, fourth collection with Edge of Ember. It has been just such a inc such an incredible kind of journey with the team. Like years ago when we started working together, I knew that Edge of Ember was the brand that I wanted to work with because of not only is it a female founded brand, it's like an independent female founded brand. Lynette, the founder, is just a really inspiring and wonderful. I'm sure that her family is based in Singapore and she just has this really gorgeous view on how jewellery should be made in a much more sustainable an ethical way and I just completely connected with that vision. We just get on so well, the team are wonderful and so yeah it's been a couple of years now that we've been collaborating and I've been creating my own jewellery collections with them and what is so wonderful about the collections that we do create is that as a lot of you already know, I'm just saying this for anyone that is kind of new, this isn't a case of me stamping my name on someone else's jewellery brand. This is me working with the team from the very get-go, from the very start of the process, with my own design ideas. Sometimes I'll draw them out myself, sometimes I'll look for inspiration and then be like, I want to kind of create something like this, and like this. And then I work with the designer who obviously has an actual knowledge of creating jewellery and sizing and 
proportions and things like that and what can actually work in in a realistic setting and then we create the collections together so my collections are genuinely created by me <laughs> my ideas my kind of thoughts to start with and then we build it up as a team which i love then obviously people will be like what about this and what about this and we we build it collaboratively so we've launched some really gorgeous collections so far cosmos paradise and gaia gaia is the latest collection that is still available we still have you know everything in stock to be bought it's the most beautiful gold with white mother of pearl and green malachite it's stunning it's absolutely amazing but this is almost like an injection of a, a completely different type of jewelry this is a lab grown diamond and solid gold collection so this is a much more premium if you will collection for those of you who want to invest in like a lifetime piece for your jewellery collection. So of course the price points mirror that, of course being solid gold and with diamonds and the quality is incredible. You will have a piece that will last you a lifetime. And even better, obviously they're lab grown diamonds. They're not mined diamonds. So it's a much more sustainable and ethical practice. The actual diamonds themselves are no different. So, I mean, it's incredible. The things that are able to be done now in labs rather than you know taking diamonds from from mines I mean, it's, it's pretty incredible and in honesty I always I always wondered what the difference was I always wondered if there was a difference between a lab grown diamond and a mined diamond in fact there isn't they can be the same I think it's an incredible practice and I'm excited to be able to put this into our collections this time so this is a seven piece collection I've already shown you a few of the items but just to run through them now because they are now available from today I should have said that first they're available from today we've just launched these are the three necklaces I haven't taken mine off Apart from the other day when I was tanning and I had to take them off. These are the three necklaces. Let me just zoom a little bit into my chest. So these are the three necklaces. Um, the first one being a really delicate, tiny diamond set into an oval, almost like an eye-shaped oval. Um, and this is the theme of the collection. It's really beautiful, dainty piece. Um, this one especially I was inspired because I just wanted something that was just tiny. A little teeny weeny diamond that will sparkle in the light but there's nothing else going on around it it's just really simple and elegant and just very delicate on its own so that's where the inspiration for this one came from just something that just sort of sits right here is this called your clavicle just sat right here into this dip this by the way is on the shortest length here it does go a little bit longer so this is just a very simplistic beautiful piece the second being three of those in a row to create this little triple set again this is on i think i have this on a medium setting so that they sit together like this and again it follows this theme this beautiful oval shape but made into a triple. So again, it, the way it catches the light when you're out and about, it really is just absolutely stunning. And it's such a delicate, um, elegant piece that just looks so elevated. And the third necklace is this beautiful organic shape. It's like a, an oval meets a round circular shape. And we've just added two of the diamonds here and one diamond here. We just wanted a very natural, very organic shape for this one. Um, again, just something so unique, completely unusual. Um, it just looks so luxurious, so expensive. It's beautiful. So I love to wear the three together. Of course, just, we've also made these obviously so they can be worn. Maybe two could be paired together. You could pair these two, these two, these two, or just one on their own. And they all just make a beautiful, like delicate statement. And then we've launched four sets of earrings. And again, I have them in here. So first of all, we have the triple set stud, which matches with the necklace. So it's a triple set, beautiful triple stud. I've been loving wearing it just along this edge of the ear because it kind of mirrors the shape of the ear. I think it's beautiful like that. But equally, I mean, it would also look so cool if you had two in a row here as well. That would look really gorgeous. If you've got a piercing up here, it'd look amazing too. Or just literally set in here. It's completely up to you how you want to wear it, but I really, really love it there. 
The next piece is this one standalone stud, again, that matches with the necklace. They're all kind of in these pairings. Again, I just wanted something so simple. And in fact, you guys wanted something really simple. You asked me um, in a poll that I did, really elegant wearable studs for every day that you can just leave in and leave in and leave in. And this is that, it's beautiful. You can obviously wear it horizontally or you could wear it more vertically, it's completely up to you. But I've been wearing it kind of in this shape going along so it almost matches with the triple stud. In the corner. The third earring with launch is this beautiful little dangling piece which is a round diamond, a small circular diamond and this little oval shape just hangs off it. So cute. I didn't want there to be too much movement, I wanted it to almost look like it just sort of sits there beautifully but still moves when you move your head. So I didn't want it to be too long and therefore, you know, really swinging. So I think this length is absolutely perfect. It's beautiful, again, so elegant. You can dress this up or you can just wear it with a t-shirt and dress it down a bit and it just looks really beautiful and again, very premium. And finally, finally the fourth earring, one that I feel is going to be extremely popular is this beautiful, it's almost like a huggy hoop, but it has this ladder effect that runs all the way around it and through it, these beautiful, oval diamonds all set in. So if I just take this out and show you this, what I love about these is that they're not too big. They're very much something you can wear every day. Equally, if you wanna wear them more for an event or an evening, they're just as, as perfectly suited. Sorry, my hand's a little bit red now. Um, but this is the way that they sit. I mean, how beautiful is that shape? Like I said, it's almost like a little ladder of diamonds that goes round. Sorry about my fluffy face, I feel like I did this the other week. Look how gorgeous it is, it's so pretty. I love that shape. The diamonds just set inside. I wear these today actually, I'll take these ones out. Look very fancy for my reformers Pilates session. So like I said, we are launching these today. They've just launched the Diamonds Collection. Really, really excited about it. It's a completely different offering than what we've offered before um, in my collections. And I know that diamonds, especially for Edge of Ember lab grown diamonds, have been so successful for them. I think the, the calling for lab grown diamonds in the industry is just growing and growing and growing. The more that people start to understand where they've come from and why why they're a great resource instead of mine diamonds. Um, I mean, the more I've learned about it, the more I'm so, so eager just to buy a lot more lab growing diamonds. So yeah, I will leave links down below guys for you all. If you do wanna go and have a little peek at the collection, see, see more info about it. But I'm just so excited to see what you guys think. It's a really, really exciting time. Yeah, can't wait. So let me know what you think. Um, right, it's now quarter past 10. I need to go get a train soon into London. I probably won't bring him along again. I'm so sorry, I'm still trying to get into the swing of of working like this again and it's just always so hard when I have such busy days in London I'm doing things to then rem remember to to film them for you guys I'm so sorry especially when I'm doing TikToks I've already mentioned this so yeah I can only <laughs> I can only apologize but I will get better I promise I've gotten used this is a clay de lip balm by the way I'm just obsessed with it I've kind of got used to having Alex with me recording and vlogging all the time so now I struggle when I'm on my own oops Okay, outfit of the day. I'm wearing my totem beautiful jumper over the top of my Tory Burch leggings, which are almost like a deep blue, I think, rather than a black. Hello. Mm. Hi. Can I just finish this once? Just one second. I'll give you attention just one second. Um, yes. And then over the top of my cute little aloe yoga top, Tory Burch sports bra, which I'm going to wear for the session. Um, so I thought I'm just going to go in the sportswear and then just throw a coat. <laughs> It's so cute. Okay, hi darling. And then I'll throw, I'll just throw a coat over the top of this and put some boots on and I'll be good to go. I've got my Pilates socks. Um, I've got my beautiful orange bag, my Carolina Herrera bag that has this canvas strap. So yeah, I'm all set. And then I'll go to a meeting, head back. After that, so I'm excited for the day. Hey guys, today I'm going into London. On the last vlog, I showed this whole makeup look. I do still need to put a little bit of product from my hair actually before I leave, but I've just got ready on TikTok because that's what I do these days is I get ready with my outfits on TikTok. So if you don't follow me on TikTok already, it's just Victoria McGrath. I just do all of my outfits on there. And this is today's look, a beautiful Max Mara knit all the way down. 
it's more of a maxi really than a midi I suppose. Roll neck, beautiful tonal stone colour. And then over top I throw my Max Mara, my beautiful Max Mara coat that I'm just obsessed with. And kind of match my new Jean Vito Rossi boots. And I was umming and ahhing as to whether to keep these boots. And this outfit has just sold them to me. And I said it on my TikTok, I was like, if I can't make these boots work for today's outfit, I'm not keeping them and I've made it work. I love them with this, it's so tonally beautiful. Do you know what, I might just quickly steam this, it's a little bit creased and it's annoying me. But yes, it's a full tonal look for the day. And then I am taking this beautiful Coco Chanel top handle, no, is that that one? What's this one? I don't know, but this little cutie, I'm taking this guy out today. Yeah, love my makeup today as well. Like I said, it's on the last vlog if you do wanna see. It's kind of like my everyday kind of vibe at the moment. Just very kind of perfected, smoky eye look. Um, I'm just gonna throw a little bit of product through this hair before I go. Alex is very kindly gonna drop me off at the train station because he's got some little errands to run. So that's fabulous. I'm gonna get on for the day. I'm gonna try and bring you along a little bit to London with me and I'll see you there. Feeling very lucky today husband taking me to the station which is very very kind of him you're gonna go do a few errands as well aren't you yeah do aren't you gonna do bq yeah. to get some new fire lighters and kindling so we can have more fires maybe buy a drill maybe buy a drill it's a very manly it's exciting things lined up today it's a very exciting manly day for you today babe <laughs> um but yeah i've got two meetings and then i'll be home so it'll be a nice quick short one for me today but all but two really really wonderful meetings that i'm excited about yeah, I can't wait, I can't wait. Oh guys, I just love this car. Um, so far, after a week or so, we're really thrilled with it. It's beautiful. It drives like a dream. We're both quite obsessed with it, aren't we? Um, I mean, it's very, very fast. Incredible. But yeah, we're, we're both quite obsessed obsessed with it. We love it so far. If you are thinking of getting a Taycan, I want to say Taycan, but well, probably it's Taycan. If you want to get a Taycan. It's just so easy to drive. It's so easy to drive. In fact, on Friday, which you'll see in this vlog, I'm gonna be driving to Dalesford with it. I'm gonna hopefully go see Josie, maybe also even Susie on, um, on Friday and have a Dalesford day, do some, do some exercise, see the girls. So I'll be taking the car then. I'm looking forward to having like a really nice long drive in it. In fact, we'll have to get it charged tonight. Yeah. It's all exciting. <laughs> What I'd love to do as well, I know this is a bit nerdy, is I really want to plug it in tonight and see how much it will cost for that half the battery charge. I think we're about half down at the moment. Yeah. I'm intrigued to see what the price is, just so I can work out the saving between like electricity to petrol. Mm. Because also, I mean, the Range Rover, the, the new Range Rover we have, which we adore, and we would love to have as our second that is about 130 pounds for a full tank of petrol so i'm intrigued to a see bigger though as well oh yeah so i mean it's massive yeah. it's a massive car um yeah it's it's got a big engine it's again very fast it's the most incredible car we were absolutely smitten with it but but i'm intrigued to see what this costs in terms of price of the electricity and in fact i have an app we we got an anderson electric charger for this car it's quite a swish um car charging port you can have like wooden fascias on it and things so i obviously wanted that so it matched the house a bit more i mean you know de design aesthetics and all that but um so we got that and there's an app that you get with it and it does tot up how much money you're spending on electrifying it i'm not too sure yet i need to have a look but i think last time we charged it it was about seven pound and that was for half a tank so no that was just for a little bit oh, okay. so <laughs> it might be 15 pound i don't know let's see and i'll let you know because you guys might be intrigued i i'm actually genuinely interested what it would cost to fill a big car like this in you know in a similar way to the range rover so i'll let you know but anyway I'm excited about today, heading back into London. I did have uh, meetings last week actually, but I had to cancel them because there were train strikes, couldn't get into London. So I'm looking forward to kind of seeing some of my uh, wonderful like, industry friends and just having a really good time. Good morning guys. Alex is taking 
me again to the station, which is very, very kind. I think you're just enjoying driving the car around. I was just about to go get in the car to come and um, drop myself off, and it's like, oh, I'll take you. Yeah, <laughs> You'd like to think this is your car. So, um, yeah, so today, I'm looking forward to today, actually. I've got three fantastic meetings that I'm going to. One with Dyson, one with Tommy Hilfiger, and one with Louis Vuitton. I am wearing, therefore, I've pulled out my beautiful Louis Vuitton, is it the pochette bag, maybe? I think. <laughs> um, well, I love this bag, though. This was such a kind gift from Louis Vuitton a few years back, so I thought, I'll wear this today feeling um, inspired. Last night I pin curled my hair. I dice an air out my hair and then I pin curled it, put in a pair of tights to protect it and now today it's absolutely massive. Prep and set. Can you hear us now a little bit more? I can hear you. Yeah. So I put transparency mode on and then you can put that should be cancelled. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, so here it will display through the app your air quality. So when you're walking about, you'll know when you need to have the visor on because it will know when your air quality is poor um, around you. Is this a Dyson Zone app or is it the... Just the Dyson app. Right. Just the Dyson app. And then here, it will show you a graph of your outside noise. So it will show you this, this line up here at the top that comes on. Um, that's the World Health Organization's recommended um, limit for your ears. So you can... Um, you can know when you need the noise cancelling on, or you can think just like. Well, that name so. Yeah. It's very friendly. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So it's part of that. Oh. The air. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, it's nice and fresh. Yeah. Oh, you look great. Oh, I love it. This is and amazing. I can't hear then, it. Thanks. And then, yeah. Yeah, if you oh, if you oh. do this and then push it down, oh. but but you you can just let go. Oh, you see, just do that. Yeah. So it'll pause your music and pause the airflow. Yeah. That looks good. Well, that's really cool. It's just like. I'm just gonna walk in somewhere and just be like, da da da, like, yes, I'm gonna have a, an oat cappuccino, thank you. Great choice. <laughs> <Is> that, <laughs> that looks good. Well, that's really cool, it's just like, I'm just gonna walk in somewhere and just be like, da da da, like, Yes, I'm going to have a, an oat cappuccino, thank you. Great choice. <laughs> I'm having a lady of leisure day. I want to make Fridays a day where I practice a bit of self-care and just do kind of like my own thing. So today I'm meeting Josie at Dalesford. We're going for a Pilates session, a Pilates bar session, I think. This is making me look very, very tan, this sunshine. So I'm really looking forward to it and then we're going to go for coffees and some brunch after that. So yeah, we've been wanting to get this kind of in the diary for ages and I want to make it a regular thing. So I can come to Dalesford, I can work. And I've also driven in the car and it's been honestly the dream. I feel so lucky to own this car, honestly. It is really so heavenly to drive. I've just had Miley Cyrus on the whole way singing along. It's been just the most gorgeous drive through the fields, just beautiful weather. And I've just felt so grateful the whole way, like literally constantly, like so much like gratitude the whole way. And just the fact that I get to now spend the day doing a bit of work, seeing a really, really good friend, doing a bit of exercise, it's like everything that I love to do. So I feel very excited about today, actually. But yeah. Ooh, go 
Gosh, must have felt I wanted some music on. Never mind. Honestly, guys, I think one of our favourite things about this car so far are these seatbelts. Look at that colour. Look at that colour. So yeah, anyway, right, I'm gonna go have a bit of time with Josie. I'll film whatever I can. I know Josie's probably vlogging as well, but um, just excited to see a good friend. Not seen her since Friendmas, when we had Friendmas, which was like one of the best weekends of the entire year. So, but with me today, I'm just wearing, by the way, I'm just wearing my Holland Cooper, this gorgeous big Holland Cooper knit over the top of all of my gym gear. And I've also brought with me my big wire cell bag because I've got my laptop in there in case I do a bit of work. I've got my, my little bottle from Luxury Promise. I really love this. It's just like a really handy bag set size one. I'm sure Luxury Promise still sell these actually. I've got my Philip Kingsley hairbrush. I've got my new purse. What's in my bag? Little purse that Alex got me for Christmas. And I've got in here, where's it gone? Oh you sat on it! I just realised you sat on it. I've got a little Dior pouch with my bits of makeup and my um, Narciso Rodriguez perfumes. So right, ready for the day. It's 9.43. I'm on good time here, fantastic. Me and Josie decided to go on a little countryside walk. And in Josie's words, it's very blusterous. Ah! And that is the perfect way to describe this weather Will your little muscle actually mean that you can hear this? I hope so. Wow. I'm hoping you can hear me. Very <laughs> We've had the most wonderful afternoon so far. We had um, a fantastic Pilates bar session. Yeah which was brilliant and I can't wait to do that again. I We've feel officially now got the best booties in the cosmos. Yes. Thanks oh to Chloe. I hope so. <laughs> Let's maybe do this for a whole year, then, yeah. then we'll see Joe. Okay. Let's work hard on this. This is my goal. Yeah. But it was fantastic, wasn't it? So we did that, then we went and had some gorgeous coffees <laughs> and some really delicious breakfasts. Um, and then I was just showing Josie the new car, Gorgeous. which was exciting to show her. So and now we just thought we'd come for a little walk in the countryside. Oh, we also did some shopping. We did a little bit of shopping. A little bit of shopping. Well, you'll have to do a vegetable haul when you get home. I will! Dale, Dalesford vegetable, vegetable haul. Honestly. Us loving vegetable haul. Yes, but no, still. No, it's fascinating and it applies to everyone because what he was saying was, you know, if you have great hair or great um, abs or whatever you can be born with that but you can really change your gut yeah like you can actually change your body by what you eat it's not a genetic thing so actually it applies to everybody everyone can learn from these little like snippets of gut loving information yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I think, think so too jokes i love that yeah. yes absolutely and on that note we'll see you later yeah. well this is this is a problem <sighs> this is a slight issue isn't it and maybe i'll put you here again Fabulous afternoon, fabulous lady of leisure afternoon today with Josie, which was wonderful. Josie's just got home, she's gone quickly home because she's got a call. Um, whereas I'm just, I've got back to my phone and it's just carnage, like the amount of things that are on my phone right now. So I'm like, I'll do a little bit of work in the car before I leave, but I might head off in a minute. Although this wind is crazy, like the car is literally rocking, it's that crazy. I also quickly need to nip in for a wee before I leave or else that's never comfortable when you need a wee when you're trying to drive somewhere. So yes, um, fantastic day. I'm gonna show Alex what I got from uh, Dalesford as like treats for the weekend. Right, you ready? Don't walk. Okay, first thing, how good does that look? Is that a cauliflower? Cauliflower. I thought we could put like, we could either do like curried cauliflower mm. or we could make it just into a yummy soup or we could do salads with it, but I just thought something great. interesting. Then I got us a really nice organic broccoli and organic leek and lots of shallots in that one. I got us our favorite Kalamata olive um, hummus to go with the soup and to go with the soup. I got us some pumpernickel bread. Sounds like, Sounds like something from Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. That's very nickel. That's what they took to Mordor. Lambus bread. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> yeah. That's funny. Uh, I got some nocarella olives, which are our favourites. I then got me, sorry this isn't for you, uh, a nut latte cold press because it's so delicious. Mm -hmm. I did however get this for you. I got you a sparkling apple juice. Mm -hmm. Then I got, for some dinners, I got us a sweet potato dal. Mm -hmm. And I got us a spinach paneer. Are they soups? With chickpeas. Um, I don't know. Is that a sauce? It's more of a, a no, it's more of a, you just fully cook it. Like this one's got a piece of paneer in it. No, I know, but is it, is, do you just eat it like that, do you? Is it a yeah. soup? Yeah, so it's a soup. Yeah, maybe it's a soup. So I'm thinking maybe you could put like that cauliflower with that. Yeah, maybe. No, wait, no, it is, it's a curry. Yeah, so you add stuff to it. It's just a curry, so you can just put this with rice and everything else. Cool. Josie recommended this. Um, make about it. 
vegan raw natural daily bacteria shots. Oh, cool. And apparently, so it's um, specially brewed live fermented bacteria. 12 strains and multiple classes of live bacteria fermented using our special process. Caramel and olive leaf and ginseng. Apparently meant to have a shot of it. Um, like before everything else in the morning just to get your gut going. Like ginger, yeah. Maybe. Why is ginger like that too? That's what Nat said, yeah. Do you want to get your gut going first? Yeah, supposedly. Oh. I might be completely wrong, but that's what I've heard you. That's my Dale's food haul. Only £755. Yeah, it was pricey. What a great day.